Sometimes you might be wearing rings, which will let, uh, maybe you have to marry this very year, and you have a ring which is expelling men from you, or which is expelling women from you. When you shift a bit, you've moved to another frequency. That is how this uh, powers. All right, all right, all right, guys. This is your boy, Michael Ampedu, from Advert Africa, where we bring you authentic African content. Um, last week, we dived into a lot of things that people have always been asking questions of. That is the ring and its implications on the finger. And, my Lord, the, 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 the things that came out, people's comments and all that that came out, it will marvel you. People watched it and they are so much amazed and all that. If you haven't watched it, go to YouTube and type Advert Africa and watch the spiritual implications on rings on the finger. So, my Lord, we want to go back to our channel and look at some of the comments that have come today that we, are, we, are, we want to read to our people to know whatever is going on and how people are interested in this thing we are doing. Last week, I was even amazed. There were a lot of things I didn't know of, but... This thing is opening my eyes. At least it's telling me a lot of things that I have to be careful about. We don't just buy rings and then we wear them. So let's look at some of the comments. Sally Tete said what? My Lord, this is wonderful. We need more of this. Josh Kwejo Frimpon also said, God bless you, my Lord. Then Sally came back and said, God bless you and lead you right. Then Terry Atipo, he said what? Black consciousness this is what we need as africans this is what we need we don't just do things stand up and then do things anyhow so my lord you are welcome again advert africa oh, thank you very much i salute the supreme consciousness within you with all the divine charm of my mind and with all the love and cordiality of my heart god loves humanity that is why he made it possible for all of us to be able to live peacefully, blissfully on this planet Earth. But uh, it is lack of uh, knowledge. It is how s some people sway us from one uh, 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 side to the other, or how people derail us from our, our main goal. That is what has brought uh, difficulties, uh, calamities, disappointments, upheavals, storms to humanity. But uh, as time goes on, researchers and spiritual men have come out with uh, solutions for all problems. Mm. And uh, most of the problems were created by aliens, in which we come to that also. Because uh, uh, you have the five bodies, you have the, 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 the water, the fire, the air, the earth, and the ether. You have the five, but they don't have the five and uh, so and they have to serve you so while they are serving you uh, they try to also try to derail you from your source they try to 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 tune you so that you also go into difficulty so out of jealousy anger disappointments in their part that is what has brought us this 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 far but uh, uh, we thank god that uh, 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 social media is making it open to all humans, all humanity, to be able to learn from their mistakes. My Lord Spiritual, uh, today we are here again. We are here to ask questions because people want to know. The first question I want to ask is that um, what is the calamities and then good fortunes of rings on the finger? So the first thing I want us to talk about, let's look at should we go for the good one or we should go the, for the bad one first? Oh, all. Because we'll tackle all. We'll so, tackle all. Yeah. Let's start with the good fortunes. What are the good fortunes? If somebody should put on rings, I, I, I want to know, pertaining to the five fingers, what are the good fortunes somebody must or is able to get or will be able to get when they put on rings on their finger? You see, putting on ring means that uh, you have a purpose. It could be protection. It could be do as I say. It could be love attraction. It could be whatever. You have a purpose of uh, wearing rings. And uh, those rings that you wear is very good. Sometimes you wear rings even to, 
to expel the snakes, you wear rings to to also expel dangerous uh, uh, and carnivorous animals. You see, so rings are very good, and uh, rings are, are are being programmed on frequencies because when you have a ring that expel this it cannot do this or we have a ring that does this doesn't do that that is why you see people wear different kinds of ring different types of ring and then the sometimes some seals are being inscribed on the rings they also have their uh, uh, frequencies you will see that uh, when you go to frequency we have the hairs uh, ranging from 80 something to 107 upwards you see so they are all ranging from frequency when you shift a bit you've moved to another frequency that is how these uh, powers are to harness a power you must know its frequency before you are able to harness it and uh, it's a uh, uh, fast track also depend on the person doing it someone maybe uh, in a like a vehicle is the same vehicle but we have ones which are faster than the other but uh, they are all made up of uh, the same uh, 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 materials. But depending on the technology that is used to make the, the, the vehicle, you know, it tells its speed. That is how the rings are. So rings can pro be programmed to do all sort of uh, things that you want them to do for you. Maybe sometimes it can be uh, you, you swallow ring. When they shoot you, the bullet will just pass somewhere. Maybe you want to lost. Something happens and you have to get out, you get out. Sometimes the ring can be programmed. When machet is raised on you, it cannot cut you and so on. So rings can do so many things. So wearing it, just wearing rings, it, I, I, I don't think it's okay. You must have a purpose of wearing rings. Some people go in to buy secondhand rings. You don't know the programming. You don't know how the person wore, the one who wore it, his character and uh, 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 habits. You don't know. And then you go in to buy such rings and wear just like that. Then you, you take certain uh, 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 characters from the ring or ring begins to harm you or ring begins to do negative things for you. You will think that the ring is small. The ring is small and uh, very nice, but yet it, it will do a lot of harm to you. So it is better that before you wear any ornament, the rings, even, even the earrings, you have to know what you are going in for. And uh, if something is happening to you while you are wearing rings, uh, just sit back and then look at when the time you are not wearing it and the time you are wearing it. And then you try to do one or two things to reprogram your, your ring or to reprogram the, your necklace or whatever. All right, <laughs> uh, viewers, this is, this is so deep. This is so deep. My Lord, I want to ask, um, if right now I'm putting on a ring, it's on my little finger. Look at it. It's on my little finger. What are the good fortunes this ring will bring to me? And then if I remove the ring and put it on the other one, what are the good fortunes I'm going to get? on putting rings and what type of rings at all should I even wear? That is what we want to know. You, before you wear a ring on your finger, if you want it to help you really, you don't want it to bring uh, disappointment to your life, you will have to come to my abode where I will uh, 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 call your soul and ask uh, your fortunate uh, minerals and gemstones to wear your fortunate occupations, the, even the color of uh, uh, that is your, your color of activity and so on, and then your marital status or your weaknesses and strength and unknown spiritual influences. So when these things are checked, then they will tell you exactly uh, what uh, type of uh, a mineral you should use as a ring. It could be copper, it could be brass, it could be uh, uh, iron, it could be silver, it could be gold, it could be any any other uh, uh, mineral. But uh, all has what they do for mankind. So you will have to have a 
a knowledge of it before you were. But uh, you were talking about the little finger. The little finger has to do with uh, uh, communication with uh, 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 human beings. How you be able to stand bold to communicate and have command over uh, 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 your, your, your speech. Say, as a journalist or as a politician or as a, as a pastor or someone who speaks, who, who gives public lectures. It's uh, 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 that finger, when a ring on that little finger, which is the mercury finger, helps you to have command over your communication. So that is the first thing that it does. But uh, when you mistakenly wear rings there, that it means that any time you, you are somewhere and you say something, people will not, will not, will not hear what you are saying. You will see that uh, uh, you wear a ring there and then the ring brings calamities. Wherever you are, you become mockery of people. People, people, people see you. Any time you talk, they don't listen. And uh, whatever it is, you don't get it right. Even in school, when you are schooling, you, you will not get it right. Because whatever you say is wrong or part is wrong because you have jammed that frequency of communication. You've jammed it. So people will not understand you. Something that you say which is understandable, people will not understand you when you, you, you jam your mercury finger. But uh, if you are able to connect it well, you'll be the best. Anytime there is chaos, when you reach there and you talk, it comes down. That is, that is how it is. You see that some people in the in the in the uh, 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 your industry, anytime they reach somewhere, when they talk, people calm down because they have command over their little finger. They have command over their mercury finger. All right, all right, uh, viewers. Uh, I I I don't know, but I want to I want to dare my lord today. In fact, I want to challenge my lord today that I want to know this ring on my finger, this ring on my finger, my lord. Look at it to uh, viewers. Look at the ring on my finger. I intentionally brought this ring so that today my Lord will show us. I want to know. I want to know what at all would this ring bring to me as I'm wearing it now. Now, whether it it will bring good fortunes to me or it will bring so that if I go home I will not wear it again. I will go and trade it away. Or should I continue to wear it, my Lord? Today I want to know. I want to know. You said you call. The person so ask so many questions and all that, my lord. I am here. We want to know. Advert Africa viewers wants to know. So tell us something. Uh, you see, the ring that you are wearing mm -hmm. is okay to wear rings, but uh, I cannot display you in public. That is one thing, and uh, I will have to delve into myself before I can I can tell you something. Because it is not everything that you have to say it in public. Maybe I might say something now which might be your weakness. So if you want to know, I will tell you, but not now. <laughs> Viewers, in fact, uh, I have now seen that my Lord is genuine. If it was to be some, uh, what do you call it, spiritualist, they will tell you, oh, this one, it will bring you this, it will give you this, it will give you that, without even diving into anything then your head will be so big you go and then the misfortunes will come but he's saying that unless he dives into himself he's trying to tell us that unless he goes to the next world before he's able to tell us something and that one is genuine it's just, if somebody somebody will just tell us something just for people to just come to his abode and then he will lie to them or scam them but my lord thank you for that but i'll, I'll come oh, that one that one i mean i want to know i want to know so i will definitely come Okay, so right now, you have told us a lot about the good aspects of the ring, right? Now, I, I see so many men of God. In fact, there are some who don't even put on the ring. You see them during normal uh, time, they don't put on the ring. Oh. But when they, are, they mount the puppet or they are coming to church, then they put on the ring. Some with the gemstones on it, some they say bishop ring and all those things. How do you, or what do you have to say about those rings? Bishop stole their rings. You see them wearing it. Prophets wearing rings. Sometimes some of them even don't wear rings. At the end of the day, they will come back and you see that when they are on the pulpit, they wear the rings. What do you have to say about that? Yo, the, the rings that uh, 
people were. There are times that uh, they belong to certain uh, uh, society which gives them that ring to wear. Uh, there are times that uh, they want power. That is why they wear it. There are times that they, want, they wear it to, to, you know, to scare people. You see, but uh, wearing the ring, the ring passes through so many uh, 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 steps before it becomes powerful. Sometimes you cleanse the ring of all negative psychic impressions, negative vibrations, negative entities, diseased energies. It is not even the ring alone. Even when you buy your dress, you have to cleanse the dress before you wear. Even when you buy food to eat, or you, you have to cleanse the food. You have to take all negative psychic impressions. There are times that when someone gets angry and cooks for you, when you eat the food, you also get angry because the energy, his energy is inside the food that he, he, uh, she, she, he or she cooked. So it is good to cleanse whatever, even the new things you, you buy. Try to cleanse them because sometimes people may program those sheds those things that any time someone sees it, the person will also want to buy it, or the person that is wearing it will also always want to buy it. But uh, you don't want to be a puppet for someone. You want to be yourself. So anything you buy, it is good that you cleanse it before you use it. So when it, from the cleansing, it goes to uh, uh, programming. You see, uh, uh, so it goes to energizing. You see that, uh, uh, I would say that we have frequencies, ranges from whatever to whatever. We have frequencies. And uh, you have to energize it, the ring. You have to make a, 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 its full power manifest in it. It also has a way of doing it, depending on your, on your level of uh, 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 spirituality. <laughs> so when you energize it, then now you program it on what it should do for you. When it should do the right thing for whatever you want it to do for you, whether love, attraction, uh, 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 do as I say, or commanding, uh, uh, love me alone, love me by force. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, viewers, love me alone, <laughs> love me by force. Is so whether I like it or not, you will love Oh, my Lord, my Lord. Love me alone, yeah. by force. Yeah. Hey. And even some for crowd pulling. We have also the crowd puller Whoa. rings. <laughs> we have some the commanding rings. You see, we have some that expel negativity. That when you wear it, no negative uh, influence will affect you, and so on. So when you, you, you program it, then you stabilize it. Because... Everything needs to be, to be protected. It doesn't matter. Someone can just watch your ring and then uh, destable it. Someone can watch your ring and neutralize all the energies mm. in it. So you have to protect it. So it is good that when you have a ring, it passes through these stages before you wear it. Don't just wear a ring. Don't just wear a ring. And our local people in Africa, we know these things, and uh, before we give you something, it passes through these uh, 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 steps before we offer it to you. But uh, 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 it has come to a time that people normally just wear it for fun, but it shouldn't be so because it will bring harm to you. Sometimes you might be wearing rings which will let, uh, maybe you have to marry this very year and you have a ring which is expelling men from you or which is expelling women from you then this year passes it means that uh, you 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 have not acquired it in this year maybe it should be an, it will be another 10 years or 5 years before the same cycle will come again Ooh. so it is good that uh, uh, whatever we put in our hand we 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 know it don't just put beads don't just put rings whatever because be, be, these beads are the uh, 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 stones and they, they have vibrations they, they have their own energies the one they the, how they attract and how they expel so if you don't know anything about it don't just wear it for fun mm. try to even come to ask so that we teach you how to use it ask the 
the old men, the old ladies, they know it. They will teach you how to use it so that I use it well. So uh, right now, you, you've spoken about, you've added both the positive and the negative aspect of the ring we are wearing. And viewers, uh, I think, I believe, I believe we are beginning to understand some things that we don't just wear rings. We, we cannot go to the town market, buy any ring and put it on and come. Um, my lost spiritual, I am seeing something on your hands. You know me, anything I see, I talk about. I am seeing something on your hands and I want to talk about it. The rings on your finger. I'm seeing one which looks like the eye. I don't know if my cameraman can zoom the ring on the finger. I'm seeing one which looks like the eye, the eye. And, and I've been looking at it ever since he started talking. I've been looking at it. So my lost picture, why this ring? Why this ring? Yes, why this ring? Uh, mostly, uh, it, is, it, is, it is a ring that uh, helps the seer. It is the eye of the most high, the eye of the most high ring. And it uh, helps you to have command over the physical body, uh, the mental body, the causal body, the spiritual body. It makes, you to, it makes me to have those command. That is how it is programmed, uh, to have command over this body. So that whatever I want from there, I can easily acquire it. Uh, so it's a, a frequency. That connects me to the other world. Mm -hmm. That is the physical frequency that connects me to the other world. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. The physical frequency that connects him to the other world. So you can see the eye. Yeah, I've been... <laughs> and uh, it's, they use numbers on the phone to call someone. And uh, this is also the physical aspect. When you want to call something, you want to call something. This is the physical aspect okay. of it, or the, the, that, or, or I would say that uh, the, the the channel through which uh, uh, the thing can easily come to you. He has said it all. He has said both the negative and the positive aspect. That is the what do you call it? The implication, the negative implications of wearing rings, and then the positive implications. So please. Go and subscribe to the channel so that anytime we have such discussion, you can easily have access to it. Um, my Lord Spiritual, I want to ask the last two questions. The first question I want to ask is this. Um, what is the negative implication? If maybe I just go to town, as you were saying earlier, but I want you to go back and then dive deep into that so that we will not just go to town and then getting rings and be putting on our fingers. What's the negative implications of getting rings without knowing what they mean? Without knowing what they mean. You don't know, the, you don't understand anything about rings. You just go and get it. And what are the negative implications that we should, we should run away from? Uh, you see, uh, buying a home-used uh, uh, ring is very dangerous. It is not the rings alone, because it is uh, sometimes bangles, uh, sometimes necklace, sometimes earrings, because they are all made up of a, a, a material which attracts and which expel. So buying home use ring, it's uh, 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 very dangerous, and it can ruin your life. It can diffuse you. It can even draw your energy, physically, spiritually, mentally. So it is not good to buy those rings. How do people, people get those home use rings? If the, the wearer has, gets something good out of it, he wouldn't dispose it. And uh, there are times that people also wear it. And then they, 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 there are more difficulties and calamities. So they just throw it away or they give it out to exchange for another one. So it is not good for you to just go out and buy rings, a necklace, a bangles, and then earrings to wear just like that. It's a, 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 a sort of, a, 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 or even when you buy it, you have to have knowledge of it, how to cleanse it how to uh, energize it, how to program it, and how to stabilize it before you wear it. It is very dangerous. These rings that you, you, you wear, sometimes you wear it to sleep while you are awake, while you are on the other world, 
the ring is also doing something to the physical body. Mm -hmm. So when you get up in the morning, the ring has already programmed you on what to do. And then you see that things will, will not happen well for you. So it is good that you have knowledge of uh, 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 an ornament before you buy it. Oh, it is good that you have knowledge of, an, of all ornaments before you buy them. Please, don't just go to the market and be buying anything you see on the market. No. Please, they, some of them have been programmed to destroy your life and all that. So please, um, my Lord, my second question, which is the last question for today. The question is that, you see, is it everybody that's supposed to put on a golden wedding ring? Because now I've seen that the fashion for today is golden ring, golden wedding ring. They put on golden wedding ring. Some put on silver. Not even, they have this black stones. They call it black diamond rings and all that. Is it good for us to just wake up and as couples will decide that, okay, let, me, let us go for a golden ring? or a gold ring, which we'll use for our wedding, or let's go for a silver ring, which we'll use for our wedding, or let's go for, uh, what do you call it, a black diamond ring, which we'll use for, our uh, what do you call it, our wedding. Is it, is it good? You see, uh, these rings, these uh, 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 rings have reigned so many marriages. Mm -hmm. You see that at the time they were dating, they were fine. But when they got married, then uh, 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 things fall apart. Uh, some sometimes they 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 attribute it to uh, people who 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 came to the wedding, mm -hmm. saying that oh these people are witches. That is why I'm not able to give birth. These people are this or my my my, 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 my people from my mother's home are witches. That is why I I, I am facing this uh, 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 quarrel quarreling in the in the marriage. Sometimes it is not so. It is the ornament that you are the ring that you are wearing. Sometimes uh, when you wear gold, it's a uh, 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 sort of uh, dim your energies. Sometimes it helps you. Sometimes because it is not programmed, others have programmed it for you. That is why sometimes they pray on it. Sometimes they say nobody touches it. Sometimes they say don't let somebody touch your ring and so on. But uh, uh, it is good that before you wear any ring, whether it wedding ring, whatever, because it is not necessary that you, you always must wear gold ring. It is not necessary that you always must wear a silver ring. If it is copper, which is your, your, your fortunate uh, 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 mineral to wear, a copper can be designed in a way that it will fit you well. If it is brass, and design the brass to fit you. It is not necessary that every time you have to wear uh, gold or silver. Try to find out which uh, mineral is good for you before you wear. This thing has ruined so many marriages. We, we don't know. But now that we are having this knowledge, we will have to check ourselves. Wow. <laughs> we thank God for that. Um, you see, viewers, uh, we, we, we will bring our discussion, we will end our discussion here. But we, we, we are not done. We will surely come back again. We will surely come back again, my Lord Spiritual. We will surely come back again. But I want us to, I want you to tell viewers something. Your last comments on this topic we have raised about the 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 ring and whatever it has to do with the human soul what is your last comments about it what do you have to tell us as the youth now the youth you see them wearing three four five hey some of them have ring on all the fingers there's even a small finger a ring they put on the small it doesn't even come to the down here it's at the top here what do you have to what advice do you have for us the generation the new generation that we are coming because it's becoming too much Oh, it is, that is what I've said, already said, that it is good to have knowledge. We have all type of rings. We have all type of rings, and then uh, when you come to my abode, I check for you. Even there are rings that is being put on the foot. Uh, some for footballers, uh, some for musicians. When you don't want people to see, you put it on your, on your foot. And then it, it will be shown you, I will tell you which foot to, uh, which toe, which toe to put it. And then uh, it will help you physically, emotionally, spiritually. Footballers, uh, uh, musicians, uh, politicians, and so on. When, when, when you come, we check. But uh, as I've said, uh, don't just go in for a ring. Or if you go in for a ring that you want or an ornament that you want, bring it to me uh, for consecration and for energizing and for programming 
so that uh, you don't you don't you don't buy these things and then uh, it, it 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 gives you something else. Sometimes people have these things on them, and every day something lost. You see that they will steal them. I'm robbers attacking them. What something happens to them? Something all the time until they throw that ring away. They are not. They are not. They are not. They are not free. So it is good that you 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 bring your ring or before you come so that I will be able to check you well and then tell you which ring to wear and then I program it for you so that it will help you because whatever you are wearing, you are wearing it for a purpose. So don't just wear it. Have knowledge of it before you, you, you wear it. All right, uh, my Lord, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But if somebody is looking for you or somebody wants to come to your abode, where can that person find you? Or where can we find you? Where are you located? Yo, uh, what I do, I do physical, emotional, and uh, spiritual healing. Uh, I do pranic healing. Wherever you are in this world, I can still send you energy. As long as you, the air reaches there, I can send you energy. Wherever the air reaches, when you call somebody on the phone, it gets there. So when you send energy also, it gets there. So I do this panic healing for people. I call souls, and then I do sauna bath, especially when you want something for protection, whatever, whatever, uh, for ailments. And also I heal all sort of diseases, diabetes, uh, cancer, uh, high blood pressure, uh, 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 madness, whatever, uh, 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 infertility. And then whatever, when you come, when you come to me, I check where the problem is. Sometimes the problem is not about uh, medication. It's about just programming you. Sometimes it's about just you, some, so something has just blocked you. And then we just pay it off and then it happens. So I'm located at uh, Nungwa, just uh, adjacent the Shell Filling Station. I'm in the same uh, building with Opinion Radio. So wherever, when you call me, or so wherever you are, when you call me, uh, I can still do it for you. And my telephone number is plus two three three two four three one five zero zero seven eight plus two three three two four three one five zero zero seven eight. Uh, God bless you all. I also have a. a soaps uh, the satan be gone soap uh, uh, bulletproof bulletproof soap and then uh, road open soap but the brand name is hazu baba you see that any soap you see that has the written hazu baba which is a grandmaster soap the hazu baba soap uh, you can get also get some at agro's place in uh, okanshi when you get to okanshi and ask of agro you will get the soap there the satan be gone uh, Hazubaba brand. You get it there. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Viewers, viewers, thank you very much for this moment, for standing with us and for viewing us up to now. Um, we'll be back again. We'll be back again, same time, on the same channel, Advert Africa.